morning and welcome to the morning show with angel and tina and our guests in their virtual studios today tina how are you doing fabulous you are back i am back in my home office in denver colorado all last week i was uh broadcasting from my daughter's bedroom Four, apartment five, from orlando florida from orlando <laughs> florida yeah and so yeah flew home over the weekend Back in, back in my home studio, back in my home studio today. So. so were you able to hit any Disney that you wanted to hit this weekend? So I did, I did get, I did get a little break on Friday afternoon and did a little bit early. We ended about five o'clock on Friday afternoon and uh, went over to Epcot for a couple of hours. And so it's a little unusual going to Disney World, social distancing, masks and all of mm. that. It's pretty empty. Very, very empty, very yeah. empty in the parking lot, very empty in, in the whole park and the lines and, and it would be really very exciting, like to be there with so little crowds if it, if it wasn't so sad, right, uh, right, to how be there. So, you think, how so many people do you think that you've seen? Like, I mean, we were just there the end of February to Epcot. It yeah. was not like how and when it was when we went there, right? Oh gosh, no, nothing at all. In fact, um, and you know, so both my daughters work for for Disney, and um, we were able to go and park and walk through the whole World Showcase, pretty much walk on to the test track, and we were done with the park in two and a half hours. And it took us all day, and we on the test track. It took us like an hour to stand in line there. Yeah, no, no, oh, you don't have to. It was so fun. Those I lived there for masks, twenty. Like even on the ride, so that's a little weird. That's just a little. It's a little bit. It's a little bit odd. But welcome to our fabulous guests this morning. We want to say welcome to you, Robin. How are you today? I'm good. I actually lived in Orlando for twenty years, so I was the expert on all the hacks for the theme park. So. Oh, you were. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Well, I'll have to, we'll have to see if we can get some little tips out of you, some of your favorite, favorite tips. Well, where are you now? I'm in Texas, far oh, away Texas. from the beach. <laughs> well, welcome. Mm. welcome. We're glad you're here. Jeff, how are you today? Hey, I'm blessed by the best. Doing well here in the Windy City of Chicago. Doing good, doing right. good. My Staying friend. safe and healthy, of course. Oh, good. Well, you know, today is World gratitude day I, you know me the gratitude specialist herself had to say something about today being the world gratitude so we want to kind of know what are you grateful for today Ooh, you, it's a world gratitude day we're not even international like national it is world gratitude day so if you're watching us let us know who, what you're grateful for today but we want to ask um our our guests in the studio what are you guys grateful for today? I'll go first. I, you know, I talk about gratitude from a vibration or frequency and how to pivot from fear to gratitude and teach on that. But um, I have an amazing life. I mean, I truly have been able to manifest and continue to manifest all of the desires of my heart. Um, I have amazing children. I just became a grandmother. I have a great relationship with my children. I have amazing health because I've been working on it for 30 years and so even being sick in my 20s i'm grateful for that because it led me into living a healthy wellness style um and, and i'm passionate about what i do i get to get up every morning and do something i love so i just truly have an amazing life and and grateful for all of it well we're grateful you're here we're very grateful you're here what a great and i think you know, you get what you ask for, you get what you order. So if that's what yeah. you're asking for, ask, believe, receive. On. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. How about you? How about you, Mr. Cade? Listen, I am just um, uh, grateful for uh, health um, and family and being able to uh, awake in the morning and when I my, my feet lay on the ground that I know I've been called upon to be part of the roll call every morning. Mm -hmm. uh, being on this side of the earth and as a healthy lifestyle specialist, it's really, um, it, you know, it's very important uh, to live that type of lifestyle and just to really understand how important it is to to be a part of this of this wonderful earth and to be a part of what's, you know, even though in terms of what's going on, just to be grateful 
um, for every day because things have things have changed. A lot of disruption has happened in this uh, these turbulent and, un and challenging and uncertain times. And just being able to be grateful for the small things, you know, just the the sun rays on your face and getting invited to be uh, to be able to get exercise in, even though when the gyms are, some of the gyms are closed, the economy is shutting down and being able to go out there and bike and play tennis and run and exercise. And, and uh, you know, it, it's really about for me, healthy and, and having a wonderful loving family uh, who has my support and I have theirs and, and just living daily and being intentional um, and, it is, and, and living on purpose. You know, that's, that's really important yeah. um, because we are going through some tough times and every single second minute of the day, how are we spending it? You know, I look at the word when, uh, we all know what when is or winning, but when also stands for what's important now, you know, what's important now for you, uh, to be intentional, uh, to be fulfilled. Uh, like what Angel said a few minutes ago, uh, you, you get what you, get what you asked for. You have not because you asked not. Yeah. Jeff, do you, do you journal? From time to time, yeah. from time to time, yes, you know, uh, I do. I, I, I also uh, understand the power of, you know, the I am uh, in terms of affirmations. And I, I like to, you know, say those, you know, if not daily, every other day, just to keep it in my, in my psyche to be, you know, remain optimistic, <laughs> most definitely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. How about you, Robin? Do you journal? Um. You know, I actually just finished my doctoral dissertation. I'm officially a doctor of integrated medicine. Awesome. And I do a lot of writing. And so most of my, thank you. So it's still a, still a little surreal to me, but my, uh, I do, uh, you know, I, I am an oral processor. And so I am a therapist and I've spent more hours on the couch mm. than is my clients. I believe you, you know, you practice what you preach. And so I'm more of an oral processor than a journaler, and that works better for me. So I do have people I talk to. I am blessed in what I do and that I've trained. I have a certified modality to train people. So if I need to work on something, I just call one of my practitioners and we trade out with each other. So that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, Tina, you know, of course, the gratitude specialist, she wrote the journal, right? The gratitude journal. Oh, cool. And now today is World Gratitude Day. Yay. It's like, it's really like Tina Torres Day. Right? Yes. That's what I was saying. I was like, oh my God, today's my day. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, we so, should, yeah, we should right? name this Tina Torres Day. Yeah, it should be World Tina Torres Day. <laughs> no, but so I mean, it, I have taught gratitude for the last 14 years, and it is unbelievable what implementing gratitude can do. And those of you who know my story, you know, two years ago, my life took a huge turn, right? And gratitude was what helped get me out of that dark pit that I was in. And yeah. that's why I wrote the journal. And, you know, using, having gratitude just five minutes in the, day, in the morning, five minutes in the evening can completely change your life forever. But and I so, uh, you know, there's scripture behind that, but in quantum physics, the, the, the principle in quantum physics is called the law of expansion. Mm -hmm. And so what the law of expansion says, we're made up of atoms and atoms are energy. And so the law of expansion says, whatever I give my energy to, I give power to, and it gets bigger. Okay. We're actually growing things. So whatever we focus on, we grow. And so when we pivot from all our problems or depression or sadness, and we pivot to gratitude, we're actually growing the things that are good in our life that are big, that are important. So we're, we're, we're completely shifting our energy and, that's what and there's science to prove that the there's science you, behind that. The more you have gratitude and the more you are thankful, the more things you're going to get to be grateful for. So Absolutely. I, I karma. Good and karma. Then, you know, it's a, isn't it interesting? Like the science behind it, like you don't think of, I think that people, you know, we need something far more tangible you know, to, to actually like check off the, the, the list, like something we can hold, something we can see. It is like, very hard when I tell people, you know, gratitude and I'm, it's free, it's free to do. And they're like, but it's so, you know, but it can, I think it's because it's so simple and easy to do. Yeah. They do it for a couple of days and then they stop and they do it for a couple of days and then they stop. 
but I always do a 30 days of gratitude challenge. Do it for 30 days and see what happens, right? Like, because I think like just what you said, they want something bigger. <laughs> they want something, you know, I got to spend $10,000 on it to make sure science that it's behind it. It is. it is what Robin's saying. Like there really isn't anything bigger. It isn't. Yeah. It's, like, it's scientifically proven. It just, the more you are grateful, the more you're going to get to be grateful for. It's whatever you send out, you're going to get back tenfold. And it's mm -hmm. like, no, it happened. I'm telling you, right. like, you know, how when, like when I first started becoming a, a Christian and we started tithing, you know, they kept saying the more, you know, when you start tithing, you're going to get that money back, right? Like you're going to get it back. And I would write that check and go, <sighs> but it always <laughs> was like the same thing. Every single month, yeah. we always got it back tenfold, like somehow or another, we got new clients, mm. we got this, you know, however it was. And I was like, oh my gosh, it, it works. It works. <laughs> it does. Okay, yeah. so Robin, during yeah. during this uh, last few months, you decided to, to get your doctorate. Well, I've actually been working on it for three and a half years. So um, I, I, I finished my book last fall, but I well, had to edit it. Hold up, Don't, don't yeah. just, like, yeah, let's okay. do that. <laughs> look at that, Thrive. I love it. Yes, yeah, yeah. beautiful. And so, you know, I, um, I've been working on my doctorate and I was also my, a, a friend of mine who did my training as a publisher. And she said, if you'll rewrite your book and add more content and more of your personal experience, she said, I'll publish it for you. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of got that ball rolling. And so COVID was good for me. I had to spend hundred, a couple hundred hours editing and, and it allowed me to kind of hone in and then finish my dissertation and all the classes for it and uh, get get it done. But it took about three and a half years to finish my doctorate so to do wow. it. So. Congratulations. So what was like the final thing? Is it the dissertation? What is the? Well, there's about, uh, I don't know how many hours of coursework I had to do. Um, and then the dissertation is like the final, you know, icing on the cake to so you have to do your dissertation on something. What did you do your dissertation on? Okay, so one of my, uh, you know, I have a very long spiritual background with inner healing, deliverance, things like that. So one of my clientele basis is people who have uh, been highly traumatized with satanic ritual abuse and other types of extreme mind control trauma mm -hmm. and culture, stuff like that. So I've been in, unfortunately, it's not like one I would choose, but it kind of got thrust into it and um, it's very dark and very difficult. So my dissertation was actually on um, using nutrition, uh, emotional energy release, energy devices or quantum energy frequency devices and prayer to alleviate the symptoms caused by uh, satanic ritual abuse and mind control, so. Wow. That's pretty heavy stuff. It's <laughs> heavy. Yeah. Yeah. I had to, I had to research in bits. I already knew enough, but then I had to actually go a deeper dive and listen to a lot of the things that would keep you up all night if you had to listen to them. So I try not to, I tried, I always try to stay in joy. So I had to take those things in little bites and be able to pivot back to the world is a good place. God's in control. It's not completely dark. And, you know, so I used to work in sexual addiction. I stepped out of that because all the men I was around were sex addicts. So I'm like, no, I don't believe all men are sex addicts. So I need to take a break and, you know, because we, we get what we believe. So I'm all about what are we programmed to believe and how do we pivot away from that? And whatever we kind of surround ourselves by will, will affect what yep, we believe. You get what you so. think about most, right? And, and you are uh, the result, they say, of the five, you know, people you five hang people out with you hang the most. Out with. And, yeah, there is our, a lot of our theme this month was you become obsessed with what you want. But right? kudos to you for recognizing that and making that shift and that and that change because I think so often like, we just get ourselves into a routine and this is what we're doing and we just you know keep going forward, but we are not a tree. We can we can move. <laughs> yes, yes. I love that. How about you, Jeff? What have you been working on? I have been working on a uh, digital audio program um, uh, for the Ultimate Healthy and Happiness program. 
and it's going to be, I'm going to be pre-selling it um, very soon. And it's going to be digital format. And I'm also having, um, it's going to be a bigger picture or a bigger piece of that in terms of um, a more lengthy five module based program um, dealing with uh, health and nutrition and tips and strategies on living a healthier lifestyle, accountability calls, um, obviously a, a private uh, Facebook uh, group. Um, but I've definitely been working on um, some things as it relates to the health and wellness uh, space that I've been involved in in quite some time. Um, and so, you know, I've made some pivots. To, to, uh, to, what's the huh? ultimate health and happiness? Wow. You know, that it's, it's all about transforming any type of unhealthy choices into a vibrant, healthy lifestyle. Uh, there's certain tips to optimal health and improving your mindset to a powerful you. And that comes down or it breaks down into really proper uh, diet, uh, exercise, and of course the mindset. And when I talk about diet, it's not anything that relates to like, you know, the Atkins diet or the beach body or, or anything like that. And there's nothing against those particular programs, but I like to really keep it simple in terms of diet, like, you know, basic things in terms of staying away from GMOs, you know, genetically modified organisms, mm. understanding labeling and content or nutritional labeling and content uh, on, on the packages we, we, we get from the grocery store, the food and beverage products we, we consume, understanding about the nitrates and the nitrates and high fructose corn syrup. You know, all these are like active chemical compounds that serve no nutritional purpose or value. And, you know, I've, you know, and, and they also are used to really, they're used in processing and preservation and production of most of the foods that we eat. So that in terms of the diet, if we really understand that um, and, and go with that process of staying away from, you know, GMOs and, and some of the things I just mentioned, um, you know, the, the, the saying of the apple a day keeps the doctor away. I mean, we heard that right back in the 70s and 80s and, you know, 90s. Um, but that apple is different today. You know, that apple is different today. There's all kinds of different apples. Just using that as, as an example. But um, going back to the program, uh, I will be utilizing that um, really to educate the marketplace. I think uh, the, the marketplace... Uh, needs to be educated and they have, I think just some of us have probably hit the snooze button on that. And it's just about just getting that, uh, that, that wake up call. Because if you think about it, um, look, what, look what COVID has done the last six or seven months. Um, I, I even raise my hand to it sometimes, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily lead a sedentary lifestyle. I'm actually very, very active, uh, also being a tennis coach, but, you know, it, it, it plays a, a, this has played a, a, a interesting trick on the mind because we're all Zooming and web and webcasting and WebExing and doing all these things. And, and we're in a sitting, we're in a sitting position. Well, but where's the blood flow going? It's going to your leg, it's going to your gut, depending upon what you're eating. Um, you know, for example, my, my wife might, might get me on this, but um, you know, we're pretty, we're pretty active, you know, and during this time, you know, her pet peeve, uh, not pet peeve, her, her, her go-to has always been, um, she just has a sweet tooth. She loves candy. Like I love chocolate. Right. And, you know, over time it, you keep eating it and that sugar and all that high fructose corn syrup is going straight to your gut. And she's, she's, she's very active again, but at the same time, it comes down to I a feel choice. Her pain. I feel her pain. You don't have to make. I feel her pain. Angel, you know, pull your hands up. Let's see. Let's see the product. <laughs> sometimes she has it on, and sometimes she can't get it on. <laughs> My wedding ring. Uh, you know what? I've been, I, I watch you guys, and I, I, I see that you all have your little uh, your little snacks there from time to time. And listen, everything's good in moderation, but when you're overdoing it. And eating and eating and eating. I mean, it could be popcorn, it could be candy, whatever that vice is, right? Like, I love French fries. Well, you know what? I can't eat those a lot throughout the week. It's going to the potatoes are going to, you know, it's going to, you know, it's going to attach to those intestine wall, intestinal walls. It's going to get that stomach where I don't want it to be. And so it comes down to really making a choice, right? And and breaking the breaking the habit. 
And I think that's very powerful when you really choose to step out of your comfort zone into your courage zone and being able to do that. And let's talk about being in prepair mode versus repair because the world look guys globally have been we've been in repair mode for quite a while now and now it's time to hey this is the fourth quarter this what are we doing from 2020 shifting into a different mindset going to 2021 and 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 not leading that sedentary lifestyle because there have been a lot of situations you know um that I know of some friends that uh, have, have gained weight. You know, I picked up a little COVID weight, but I, again, as I mentioned earlier in the show, I get outside, I get, my, I get my vitamin D, whether it's on the tennis court, whether it's running, skip jumping rope, whatever it is. Um, so, I, so I can really get those endorphins going, right? And, and it's just great, you know, that uh, we're able to make, make that choice because it, it does come down to that singular choice to it does, yeah. Choices and habit. decisions, right? We are, we are a result of this choices, the dis- decisions, the boundaries, the discipline, all of that that we make, that we make every day. Well, let's get to know our guests a little bit more officially. I'm going to read uh, Robin's bio for everybody today. Her book, uh, titled "Thrive: Applying Biblical and Quantum Energy Principles." to live a transformed life is available this week on Amazon for only 99 cents. I'm super excited. So uh, nothing holding you back from going and supporting Robin this week with, with purchasing her book. Learn to live a life of holistic health and wellness for such a time as this. I love that. I love that phrase. For such a time as this, we must learn ways to live at a high vibration, to live in peace and joy and understand how it's all connected. Robin teaches you practical ways to change your life. And I'm super excited to have you with us here today, Robin. So the book, the book is brand new. It's on release or what's like so special about this week? Well, so this week it's just on sale on Kindle for 99 cents from today through Sunday. Um, So go buy it. Even if you're a paperback reader, I'm surprised. It surprises me as I've talked to people this week that a lot of people don't know that Kindle is an app. You don't have to buy a Kindle device reader. You can read it on an iPad, a computer, a phone. <laughs> yeah, you just download the app and then you can buy a Kindle book. And so, uh, you know, some people are like, I'm old school. I like the paperback. It is available on paperback on Amazon as well. It's $18.99. Uh, but just asking people, just trying to get a greater exposure. Um, it, hey, if I have the Kindle, I can copy and paste and send things to my friends or put them on my I am statements, right? And, um, you know, just so there's, so having a digital in addition, even if you don't normally read digitally is, is a benefit. I'm hoping to get it on Audible within a month or two as well. For those people who more like me, who don't have a lot of time to sit down and read because we're working on our doctoral dissertation all the time. So now I get to read some real books who that aren't, you know, like learning, I can actually read a fiction book, which I don't think I've read in years. And so I mean, I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, so this is a great week, go buy it this week. Um, tell your friends, you know, really, uh, this is my life's journey. This book is my life's journey of what I've learned. And it works because my life has radically changed in the past eight years since I've really applied all these principles. And I've been working on my health and healing for 30 years. So um, they work and, I, and I'm and i not a fluff person. It's like, here's the science for those people who are Christians and believe that all of this stuff is new age. Here's the scripture and here's how it marries together really nicely and how to understand it here and here. And then here's how to apply it. And here's why it matters. Here's why it matters, especially right now today in the world we live in. And so it really is a book that um, I believe God kind of gave me a revelation for in 2013 and is for such a time as this, um, where we really need it. Life is not the same as it was a year ago. Well, I just looked you up on Amazon, my darling, and um, you've got several books out. Uh, I do. So yeah, you are a a multi-published author. Super excited to to see all the things that you've got going on. You can see some of the other the other things you've talked about here, um, the quantum physics, right? The Believer's Guide to the Law of Attraction, Journey Through the Storm, Overcoming the Pain of Your Husband's 
uh, porn and sex addiction. Do you know, how, are you connected with Sal Harper? Do you know who she is? I was just going to ask her. <laughs> yeah. No, I do not. Yeah. Uh, no. Robert, make sure you um, email me later and I will con- do the connection. Okay. Yeah, it might, it might be some really special. great collaboration and, and yeah. connection, um, connection there. But I think that right now it is, it's for such a time as this being far more intentional about what it is that and we've said this as we were coming out of, you know, kind of going into the pandemic, it's not so much about what we do during this time, but it's who are we becoming and who do we want to be when we come out uh, of this, right? Yeah. One thing I'll, I'll just share, which is important for if, if, if I leave one tip that isn't typically talked about, um, and I'm actually going to have an opportunity to speak at a constitutional summit on this topic is um, and you can find this on my website, is learn and understand what electromagnetic radiation is and how it affects you. And I have some inexpensive products on my website to help remediate the toxins, the radiation from it. But with all of it, with people stuck at home and we're around so many electronics and then 5G coming out, Mm -hmm. there's a no greater Mm -hmm. time to really learn how to protect your body from the effects of electromagnetic radiation. So what's your what's your website, Robin? Um, so that website that you would find that on is integratedlifestrategies.com and there's a products tab okay. and there's some science, there's some links to some science behind um, okay. some of the products. And then my book website is thrivewithrobin.com. So that's kind of my new, my new branding for, you know, more public speaking and uh, my new book. So I've got a gal that I had connected with. Um, she's from Sweden that when I was in London, that she talks about the radiation, the impact of the radiation. And yeah, um, so, yeah there's there's definitely science and some stuff going on that we should, that nobody's talking about really. It, so, not really. And, you know, the way I work with clients is I use a, a technique called muscle response testing or muscle testing. And so um, I will muscle test somebody and they'll test strong and I'll touch their phone to them and they'll go weak. Yeah. And so kind of seeing is believing. Mm-hmm. And so I have, uh, I have to repost it, but I have some demo demo, demo videos where I use d- the phone, for example, but then we have our smart meters and our Wi-Fi, and we're surrounded by electronics yeah. and then we have 5g and I won't get into a whole 5g topic here. Yeah, I'm sitting here going, Oh, I have my iPad, my phone, my computer. Yeah. 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 I yeah. And, and yeah. A lot of people sleep with them, right. Right next to them. Oh, absolutely. Head. We sleep with, uh, you know, these teenagers, we have the highest anxiety rate among high school and college age students. And these kids are sleeping with their phones next to their head. And the thing is, it's not that mm. difficult to protect. It doesn't cost a fortune. And it's, and just to not be as exposed is really some simple, simple moves. I also has a, have a newsletter on my website under, um, I think it's under speaking, it says newsletter, or you can just forward slash newsletter. And it's a really good, here's what it does to the body. Here's how to protect, here's how to mitigate. And here's some na- nutritional natural remedies you know, for people. And I have clients who have EMF sickness. It's a real thing. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, so the website um, and the book, so tell people all the stuff you want them to go and do today. Okay. So to, or, the best way to order my book for the 99 cents is to go to thrivewithrobin.com. If you scroll down, there's a link about the book. It will take you to where you can order the Kindle. You can also go directly to Amazon and search Robin Perry Braun. It'll pull up my books and then it'll, if you click on the Thrive book, it'll, it'll do it. The, the spouse's book, I worked in sexual addiction ministry for about four years. I was married to a sex addict. That's part of my journey. Um, and so I wrote a book for the wives as I walked through, you know, helping them become healthy because, you know, we attract like attracts like, so it doesn't make it, I don't allow anyone to be a victim ever. And so, you know, it's really for the wives of the men struggling with sexual addiction to know what to do, how to get my own healing, and then what are healthy boundaries and how to not be an enabler, rescuer, all these kind of things. So, um, so that book is on there also. That one's a whole different topic, but it ties in a little bit with quantum understanding as well. So, 
Um, and then integratedlifestrategies.com is my therapy website. It's also, uh, I train certified practitioners to do what I do. I've created a, a holistic modality. And really that's what I love to do. I love to train people to, you know, he, heal others. It's a, a great multiplication and mentoring those people. And there's a training tab on my website where you can learn more about getting trained. And what makes it great is you can get trained in a relatively short period of time. And then you have all these cheat sheets. So you don't have to memorize everything going into it. You learn as you go. So awesome. Awesome. And I do it on Zoom. I do training on Zoom. So I train people all over the world. And we, we started when COVID happened, I started doing Zoom trainings and that's really taken off. So thank goodness, right? I think that's been the saving grace for so many of us is we've been yes. able to stay connected thanks to technology. We can see each other's faces hear each other, um, do group, do group trainings and connections and conversations. And um, yes. we've all had to shift. We've all had to shift. And I think that those are the businesses, the people that you want to stay tied to is those that have made that transition and have been able to shift, not just sitting back. We've said this before, waiting, wondering, and worrying, but those business first responders and, um, yeah. you know, and that's what you're doing, Robin. Congratulations on your, all your of that. Thank you. like in August and September, all of these people are now launching courses, launching books, launching, you know, all of these different things that they started right when COVID hit. So you're starting to see who those first responders were because they're yeah. starting to come out with all of these different products. I know I named, yeah. I named August, August, because there was all these new things that were being launched, all these you books, all like years. 19 new authors, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Wow. We, yeah, yeah. All August. It was, it was a lot. Um, all right. Well, let's get to know Jeff a little bit better. He is the author of Battleground Cancer, and you can visit battlegroundcancer.com to receive a free chapter of his book. Um, he's a healthy lifestyle specialist, and he says health and wellness are the keys to your longevity. He's an award-winning author, speaker, servant leader, tennis coach, and former healthy restaurant owner. I did not know that about you, that you awesome. uh, owned a restaurant. Well, congratulations, yes. Jeff. And Thank now you. you've pivoted you. too. You've gone a little bit of a new direction. Yes, I have. Uh, I'm still in the health and wellness space. Um, you know, but moving forward, I like the word pivot because we're all we're all making pivots, especially during this these turbulent times. Um, to go into a broader range, uh, being able to share my message and content in digital uh, format uh, regarding the ultimate uh, healthy and happiness program, um, which is going to be probably pretty much done um, by fall or by the end of this. I guess by the end of the year, right? Because we're almost done in 2020, so. I'll be doing some pre-sale. <laughs> right, I know, I know, right, 2020. Um, but I learned I learned a lot of my information or, or I guess a, a lot of the things that um, occurred within my, my years in the hospitality industry, working not just with corporate America, but uh, owning, co-owning co a healthy franchise um, restaurant that really, we really channeled the high fiber, high protein, low carb meals, no fried product. And over time, I got to understand, you know, some of the things that are most really important that should not be in our bodies that I mentioned before in terms of GMOs and uh, high fructose corn syrup and things of that nature, and just really educating that uh, the marketplace on understanding nutritional labeling and content um, um, going into going going into our, our I guess our, our food and beverage consumption. So over time, I just started to get a lot of uh, data and information, whether it's be from the American Cancer Society, uh, um, prevention.org, um, Dr. Oz. I mean, there's a lot of, lot of, lot of information that people obviously can Google now, but there's some things I didn't know that actually um, um, heightened my palate. You know, it, it, it was able, I was able to um, use the information and put into this, this type of book um, and use it obviously as a platform um, and, and stay within in, in my space and actually brand out more um, because I think um, education is paramount. Education is paramount um, because I believe, truly believe in longevity um, and it has its place. And again, it, it talks, we, we, we talk about, you know, choices and the decisions we have to make, yeah, to rebound. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's, it's a matter of like right now with COVID, you have to, um, you have to reset, you have to recalibrate, you have to redefine 
um, you have to hit the reset button because we're, we're in this mode now um, and, and we're pushing, all of us are pushing through because we don't know what's on the other end. Mm-hmm. You know, we're trying to, you know, see the trees for the, behind the forest and, and, and get in, and see that light at the end of the tunnel. And it's there, you know, but it, it, it boils, it comes down to our, really comes down to our mindset um, and, and the choices and decisions we make to get where we need to be. So um, in relation to the book, uh, it, it is, it is uh, I'm, I'm one year in, I guess I'm still a, new, a newbie, one year in, uh, I still promote it. I just got some books uh, into a bookstore here in Chicago on the south side of Chicago. Um, and I'm continuing to use that as a platform to, to of course, educate uh, and inform a lot of people that uh, need their information um, so they can live a healthier, vibrant, powered lifestyle. Yes. All right. So how do you want people to connect and where do you want them, like, really, like, what's their, like, best thing that they could do today? You know, they can connect with me uh, at jeffk360.com, jeffk360.com. And um, they can connect with me through any of my social media outlets. That's my communication hub, I like to call it. And um, you mentioned battlegroundcancer.com. That's another way to uh, get a bonus here and there um, from my, uh, by providing an email. But that's, that, that particular website is strictly more of a bio on myself and um, getting people to that site to get the free chapter, uh, actual uh, cardio interval um, exercise routine, if you, if you want to do that. Um, and through jeffk360.com, I've also aligned um, in a, with a health and wellness um, opportunity that allows people to purchase health and wellness products to eradicate toxins and you know have a different way to have different methods to build your immune system as well. So that jeffk360.com is a, is a, is a, is a big website because it attaches to other sites within that umbrella. Um, and you, you'll, you'll be able to connect with me personally. I love it. So I know you were talking about like the sugar and the, some of the, the choices, you know, that we are, that we the are. S word. The S word. Is that what you call it? The S word? Yeah. Yeah. The S word. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. And I think that people have, it's like, there's, you know, they they like the sweet or the savory, right? Like one or the other. Um, we all kind of have, have our, our, our little, um, vices right Um, but it it does add up I think as we get older we start to see it like in a way like I've got my son he's 22 and you know he goes to the gym and he comes back with abs right like he just like that fitness you know phase of his life I'm like oh I remember those days right but it's different as we get older and we start to see the accumulation of all the choices Mm -hmm. that we have been making um all of our lives but there are it's never too late to start right it's never too late to make some new changes and well i made a little change last week this is day seven that i'm trying my new health kick right and i found because you know how we were talking about pumpkin spice lattes last week (laughs) (laughs) here in north carolina so 60 degrees and i was like oh pumpkin time i want my psl and i was like oh but i can't have it I found a sugar-free pumpkin spice latte creamer. <laughs> oh, I'm like, okay. Found the creamer. Okay. Fabulous, right? That it's that time amazing. of year, that season where we all need that little, latte. that little chai and that little spice flavor. So, all right. Well, good for you, Missy. Um, I'm going to hit my 100th ride on my Peloton bicycle. Did you make it on time on Saturday awesome. night? I did. I did. Oh yeah. You know, so, her whole thing was to get back home for Saturday night. She's like, well, I have to get back home Saturday. I'm like, why? What's happening Saturday? She goes, well, you know, I have to go on your Peloton like every single week. And I was like, okay. She goes, so I have to come back home. I have, I'm on my third. It was like my 30th week. So I left town. Do either of you have a Peloton? Are you familiar with a, with a Peloton? So they do all these challenges and keep track, all this stuff to motivate you, right? To tell you your statistics and you know where you rank with everybody else and all this stuff but one of the things they they track is how many 
times you've written and how many weeks in a row. And you only mm -hmm. have to, I mean, this is how little, like just one day out of the week and they count that at, towards your, your streak. Towards your week. When, when we, when this whole thing kind of first shut down, um, I started writing on the Peloton. It was my we'd gotten it for my husband because he's the cyclist, not me, but I really like the classes. And so I hit a goal that by my 50th birthday, I was going to ride 500 right. miles on the, the Peloton. And so on my birthday, I rode my 550th mile on the Peloton and I was riding it just... Woo. Three days a week, uh, 30 minutes, three days a week, you know, just, just, you know, consistently. Well, since then mm -hmm. I've gotten, I've been less disciplined. Um, I will say I've just been a little less disciplined about, about writing it. I like, I like that, that excuse. <laughs> I've been less disciplined. And, um, and so I was on, I realized we're getting ready to go. We, so we've been home. I haven't left home. I've been a mole. I've just totally stayed at home. And, um, but we're getting ready to leave. And I realize this is my 30th week. And if I miss it, I can't miss I, it. I gotta do it. I gotta start all over. So yeah. we had to plan this trip. I've got to get home you planned this so whole I can ride on the Peloton, around the Peloton and, challenge. And Listen, not Peloton needs to come and sponsor the Angel and Tina morning show. Seriously, <laughs> for sure. Talk about Peloton. <laughs> so now, not only have I been doing it for 30 weeks, I'm about to hit my 100th bicycle ride. I think I'm on number 98. So I have like two more before yeah, I hit my yeah. 100th ride um, on the Peloton. But I've got my streak. And I was telling Tina, I'm like, well, we have to come home. We can't come home because I've got to get... Yeah, I'm going to miss it if I don't. So let's talk a little bit about our sponsors. Um, the Angel and Tina Morning Show, of course, brought to you by our fabulous guests here um, in the studio, which we're super excited um, to you know, talk with both of you, Robin and Jeff, about all the exciting things that you guys have going on. So mm -hmm. hold on, I had it up, but then it disappeared. I look at one of your three different monitors that you have there. I know, here it is. Da, da, da. There we are, the Angel and Tina Morning Show, brought to you by Robin and Jeff today. Thank you for sharing and inspiring us just to be a little bit just healthier and aware of the choices and the decisions and the energy that is going on around us. But the Angel and Tina Morning Show is brought to you by our fabulous sponsors, the Zondra TV Network, who produces and distributes the Angel and Tina Morning Show as well as many other TV productions. If you've got a show, you've got content, you're thinking about maybe sharing it on YouTube or you've got a podcast, if you've ever thought about having your own show and having it go global, check out the Zondra TV Network. They've got affordable marketing packages that stream you on all the smart TV, on all the all-demand smart TV channels. You can check them out at Zondra TV Network at beonztv.com. That's B-E-O-N-Z-T-V.com. Bliss by the Lake Boutique, our clothing sponsor, getting ready to switch over to our fall wardrobe with Bliss by the Lake Boutique. Follow them on social media. Check out their fashion shows and their trunk shows, and they ship everywhere in the in the country, in the world. And then if you're feeling just a little overwhelmed, right? It's Monday morning. I, I don't know about you, but I woke up with this long list of stuff that has to get done just in my head. And I made a list, but wouldn't it be nice if you didn't actually have to do it all? That's the dirty little secret. Don't hire a team. You know, you can start with one or a team of virtual assistants by going to sonicva.com, S-O-N-I-C-V-A.com. And when you hire uh, Sonic VA, when you mention the Angel and Tina Morning Show, they're going to give you a 10% discount off your first 40 hours of virtual assistant service. So check done and done. Zondra TV Network, Bliss by the Lake Boutique, and Sonic VA, thank you so much for sponsoring the Angel and Tina Morning Show. Go and follow them on social media and tell them thank you for making this show possible to be the bright start to your day every single every single morning. So, uh, uh, Tina, so how does Tina celebrate Tina Day? I'm going to be on calls <laughs> all day today. <laughs> I'm going to be on calls all day today. I'm at 12 o'clock, I'm at 1 o'clock, I'm at 5 o'clock, I'm at 6.30. Yeah, I'm okay. going to be on calls all day today. I mean, I got up this morning, call. I took my Straight dog. the business. 
Right, I am. I'm grateful for my business. I got up, I took my dog on a walk this morning. Um, you know, just getting out there and getting in that sunshine. And it's so, oh my gosh, so, so beautiful here right now. Um, it's like 65 degrees, 62 degrees. And I kept my window open. So there's like a nice breeze coming through. I have my apple candle. You know, fall is like my, I love fall time. <laughs> it's like my favorite season. But I have my apple candle um, burning. So it smells like apple scent. Here. Yes, fall is my my son's favorite time of year. Well, one of the things that had happened right before, right, like two weeks ago, we got our first snow here for the season here in Denver. <laughs> froze summer to winter. <laughs> yeah, it was right after Labor Day. So it was like 90 degrees Labor Day weekend. Tuesday morning, we had four inches of mm. snow on the ground. It was crazy. Wow. Well, so it freaks out the trees, yeah. right? When, when that happens, we came home, our entire front yard was full oh. of leaves you need to go take the, pictures the tree dropped it didn't drop all the leaves but it dropped a bunch of leaves i mean it was completely covered so and you don't have what's what's your favorite season you don't have your fall is not your favorite season um i like fall um but summer summer is mine but i even have my fall colors i got out all my orange and my browns and my you know all my fall colors all your fall colors have you already made the switch your wardrobe switch i did i did this weekend <laughs> Robin, what's your favorite season? Well, I am a total beach person. I lived in Florida for 20 years, so there's not many seasons in Florida. There's not many seasons in Texas either. I grew up in Massachusetts, so winter is definitely not my favorite season. Um, I would, I'm, I'm a summer girl because I'm a beach girl. So, yeah, I love the beach here in Colorado. We, you know, we get, we get all the seasons, which it's is pretty really beautiful, right? Yeah. It's our spring is gorgeous here. Summer is beautiful um yeah the fall is beautiful here but the... that's why I'm not a summer girl because summers here are like 115 degrees and you go outside and you go into a sun and you can't breathe yeah yeah, yeah that would be... have like a regular like I'm from San Diego that summer I can do but yeah this summer like 115 where you're like <clears throat> going outside you're like no that might be harder winter is the longest season I think of Colorado it just feels like it gets longer and longer First yeah. snow in September, September last in snow May. in May, right? <laughs> and so everything else is like like abbreviated of of a season, and so I think winter is just getting to be longer and longer, and longer, and longer <laughs> here. So, how about you, Jeff? Favorite oh, season? Oh, I, I love I love the summer. Um, summer in Chicago with the lake, it's it's great. You know, I'm a fall baby. I was born in November. I like the fall, but the summer is definitely uh, uh, my type of season. You know, my second home uh, in Texas, um, uh, Houston. And so oh, I would love to be out there, even though it, it's, it's like scorching hot. It's not like Vegas or Arizona, but it's a type of dry heat. But I, I love the summer. The summers are just great. I love the summer. Maybe and I now, of course, it's it's um, summer here. I, we can we can trade. You can have the you can have you. We can trade. You can have the snow, and the cold days, and I, I'll I'll have all that nice sunshine. No, 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 no! I don't want the snow. <laughs> where is there like um? Is no snow? Is the upper like? I mean, where's where does fall last the longest? Is it like the main? area massachusetts like up in that uh i would think where where tina is because it it you know it's still further south so a little further north and maybe georgia atlanta but i would think north carolina south carolina has the longest fall season now we we have because we don't have a big huge winter i think <laughs> like two times here so it doesn't and it doesn't get super cold i mean sometimes it gets like down to 40 but um I think our, our, so our fall started like this weekend and it'll probably end, end like mid-December, late December time. Yeah. So every once in a while we'll get a, a snow fall in December, but I think it's about four or five months that fall does. But I love the yeah. leaves. I love the colors. I love, you know, I'm a hot person, so I love it when it's a little bit colder. Yeah. Yeah. Florida's fall is about a week long. Yeah, right? <laughs> is it? Is it? The, the, the palm trees get a little off color, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Right, my girls, yeah, my girls have lived there now a little over two years, two and a half years. And um, 
you know, from from Colorado and they really like it. They they like the seasons and they like the palm trees and they're very happy there. Now my son wants to move there and yeah, so yeah, they're very, very happy. Okay, so Robin, um, exciting things you want to leave our guests with today. Um, so I, you know, I think one of and, and Jeff, you might be able to agree with this. One of the hopefully best things that has come out of COVID is people have woken up to see that doctors don't have a magic pill for their health. And I've been teaching this for years and years. I'm a, a, a holistic, you know, natural doctor and naturopath. And so I've been teaching for years, like I you are that. the only one responsible for your health. And so, uh, you know, my, my best friend's a natural doctor, her business has increased in this time. So I would say one of the hopefully upshots is people are taking responsibility for their own health and wellness during this time. And so it's a great time to be able to offer education. So, you know, from a emotional mental standpoint, I have a whole paradigm that helps you understand the science of health uh, from a quantum physics standpoint, but then just people recognizing that we've put our false trust in a system that can't fix us and that we are supposed supposed to be responsible for our own lives, which is also what the constitution says. And so I think the biggest part is just, this is the best time of ever to, for people to make that shift and go, viruses and bacteria, we fight all day long. And if we have a healthy immune system, this should not be a big deal. And we just need to start educating ourselves on understanding that wellness is our choice and we have the power to do that. And there's lots of education out there on how to do that so fabulous how about you jeff wow i i totally agree i concur with her it's so important that you understand that this is a a a undocumented i mean a documented time where you can change the trajectory of your life um, by making certain pivots, by having that shift. Um, even my book, Battleground Cancer, managing your mental, physical, and spiritual well-being for the fight. You know, it talks about in my journey, my journey in the loss of, of, of my parents with cancer, but it also talks about tips and strategies of living a healthier lifestyle. And especially in today's conditions, it's, it's all about we're, we're in the battleground right now. We're in the battlefield. I call it the battlefield of life. And to break through that or to, to combat what's going on, you have to take personal responsibility. You have to understand when, again, what's important now. And the most important uh, letter in the word success is you. Hmm. You know, you are important. You have to win. You got this. You have to make sure that the choices that you're making how, how are they affecting you? How are they affecting your family? And, you know, the social connections are tough right now. Or I should say the, to the social physical connections are tough because it's been reduced. And with the social connection, that's kind of all we have, like right now. You know, um, I wish there was a time where I can share the stage with Tina and Angel and all of us are together. And but it's it's been reduced so we have to understand that this type of medium um you know is is the type of platform we have to use um but everyone's everyone's decision to live a healthier lifestyle is upon themselves you're going to do things in moderation anyway but right now with covid you don't want to lead a sedentary lifestyle you have to lead an active vibrant um healthier lifestyle um, of course, within within the scope of moderation, um, but this is a prime opportunity to educate yourself, uh, pick up a different craft, a different skill set, learn a new language, play a new instrument, um, be in tune with yourself, um, with your family, um, because we don't know what's going on. Um, I mean, tomorrow's never promised. A and B we don't know what's happening after this. Like we're already in the fall season as we discussed, but now you have the flu season, right? We have the flu season. We're already having a, a pandemic or pandemics that are around us. How do we battle that? You know, well, being optimistic, 
understanding what's important now, when, and, and just keep on having faith uh, uh, and, give, and giving honor and glory to, to the infinite creator um, that's allowed you to become your best self. Mm-hmm. So all, all about giving honor and glory. Mm. Amen. Yeah, I Amen. truly believe that. I mean, you know, I think, you know, we are richly blessed in, in those I am statements and reminding ourselves of what we have. And I do also think that right now, ask questions, right? And consider where those answers are coming from. I think that mm-hmm. is just really, we have to be vigilant um, about who we're listening to uh, and where those answers are coming from. But ask more questions. Just mm-hmm. ask more questions and pay attention to where those answers are, are coming from. It is a very confusing time and there's very conflicting messages coming at us from, you know, seemingly, you know, very trustworthy resources. So um, just ask questions, ask questions, take care of you and take care of you, take care of your family, take care of your spiritual health. God will protect us all. I really feel, I really feel God's anointing um, on my life at the moment, which is really um, humbling. <laughs> <laughs> um, to say the least, um, but super blessed by the people that um, we are surrounded with, the people that are in our world, and the impact that we can make. You know, one of my one of my callings when we first started uh, Vidette Global two and a half years ago, and I don't talk about it very often, but is the the mission to create what I call marketplace apostles, and mm-hmm. just giving giving more. Uh, small businesses that platform to share their story and share their voice and and to make an impact and to leave and to leave a legacy and so the two of you here this morning I'm just feeling very blessed by your presence and I will and grateful and grateful and grateful grateful. (laughs) I am grateful we have a very busy week um very busy (laughs) this is so as you all know for two and a half years I traveled speaking um around around the, around the country, around, you know, other countries as well, but mostly around, around, you know, around the country, um, speaking to small businesses. And that all came, as we all know, to a screeching halt. My last event that I spoke at in public was in February, at the end of February. And this week, um, Power Team International is coming to Denver to put on a live and virtual global elevation summit. We have several of the speakers are flying into Denver to be a part of that. And Tina, she's like, are you ready? I'm like, I haven't even had a chance to really concentrate on it, Um, but it's happening here in Denver. So it'll be our first virtual, uh, our first live event where we speakers come together um, to put on an event. So we'll see how, how that, how that turns out and what that looks like what the new, what the new normal is. I have no idea. In fact, we will be going live on Thursday morning from that event. We are, we are. We're going to have Wendy Labatt. Dr. Wendy Labatt will be on. She's flying to Denver. Her book, she just published last week. We just did a soft publish of her book. Hadn't even done the marketing campaign or anything around it. She's already a number one hot new release. She's already a top 10 bestselling author. This is, this thing is just, it's insane and crazy and so exciting. So while you are going out and purchasing Robin's book this morning, we highly encourage you to. Y'all know we tapped into, you know, that Amazon wants to be your sales partner. Like they have everything in place to help you to make more sales, to make more revenue. They want to be your sales partner. But what they are looking for are partners, people with platforms, people who are selling books. And so when you guys go and purchase Robin's book today, you help her trigger another special algorithm that turns Amazon into her um, you know, most produ- productive sales partner with their 1.2 million Amazon Prime subscription members. And so it turns on a whole marketing engine for Robin. And all it takes is for you to go and, and click yes and purchase that with a one click. You don't need to have a Kindle app or you don't have to have a Kindle device. You can have just the app. It'll send it to any device that you want. Um, and while you're there, go and grab Wendy's book too, The Financial Cure System, Dr. Wendy Labatt. Um, you know, there's just so much going on. Grab Jeff's book, go and just fill, go and fill your, your, your shopping cart today, support each other. There's good stuff there. Never stop learning and never stop supporting, right? When we put good stuff out, good stuff comes back in as well. So I'm Angel Tussie. I am your media matchmaker, helping you to create more exposure. If you've got a big story and you know, you've got by sharing that with, you will make a bigger impact with the world. You can get started 
um, at our website, makeyourbigimpact.com, makeyourbigimpact.com. Download your complimentary media starter kit. If you've got a book launch or a product launch and you want to do a whole big marketing campaign, we do a fabulous 60-day marketing push, marketing blitz to help you become a best-selling author, to create sales, to create exposure, to create visibility. All we've got, we've got the distribution, we've got the power of association, and we've got the connections all built in so you can get started at makeyourbigimpact.com. You've got a story, you know, you've got news. Let's alert, let's alert the press. And you have your uh, Media Mastery Bootcamp on Saturday. So if you guys need to join, you guys have got to get a ticket. So you can also get that there as well. Um, Angel has a little gift for you there and gives you a little discount code if you text the word Angel. Um, I'm Tina Torres, your client retention expert, otherwise known as the Gratitude Specialist on World Gratitude Day. Um, if you are struggling with building your audience or finding the right clients or even retaining those clients that you already have, I have a complimentary guide that will help you grow your audience organically online and offline, connect and nurture those relationships authentically, and then take those relationships and turn them into paying clients. And you can grab your free guide. If you text the word connection to 26786, that is the word connection to 26786. Uh, we hope you guys had a fabulous day. Go out and tell somebody that you are grateful for them on World Gratitude Day slash Tina Torres Day. We are so grateful for you to be in our audience today. And thank you for being our loyal fans. We hope we brought a bright start to your day. We are Angel and Tina on the Angel and Tina Morning Show. When we come to you live every weekday morning at 11 a.m., we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.